Alright guys, you've been asking for it forever. I can delay no longer. It's time for the bookshelf tour. I'm going to do a quick overview of what my bookshelves look like, how they're organized, and all that jazz. Um, but it, there are far too many books for me to really get into it in any kind of detail. So I'm just going to show you what my bookshelves look like, and then I'm going to ask you how you want to proceed with this. So. Without further ado, here's a look at my messy, messy bookshelves. Alright, there's nowhere I can stand in my room that will let me show you all of my bookshelves at once. That's as wide a shot as I can get. Now I'm going to show you close up. So my bookshelves are organized by color. So I started with red. And this is sort of the darker end of the spectrum. And then we move into lighter red. Here's sort of orangey red, and then moving into orange and then over into yellow. I was kind of surprised by how many yellow books I had. Then we work our way down and we're into greens. And of course everywhere we go you see some double stacking. Here's another green shelf and my doozer. My friend Sam made me that doozer. And it is awesome. Now I move over into pink and purple, and this one's really mixed, um, just because of the way they fit. And a random amethyst. And now into the dark purples. And then down into black. And there are just way too many black books. I have a lot of shelves of black. Now, the black actually continues down onto the next shelf because I didn't want the middle to be dominated by black. So there's one black shelf here, but then I moved over into blue. Um, the blues are really mixed too. I didn't spend as much time going dark blue to light blue just because of the way they fit and just because, again, there are a lot of blue books. Though most of the light blues ended up over here. I went down into like grays and silvers. Not a ton of those, so then there is some more black that worked its way over. And here is another shelf of black. And another shelf of black. And another shelf of black with a felt book rat. Again, my friend Sam made that for me, and it's awesome. And one more shelf of black. I'm telling you, just way too many black books. Like, shake it up, publishing industry. Um, some white ones snuck in there just because I had nowhere else to put them. Because here is the white shelf, and it's jam-packed. I know you're not really getting to see the titles, and I'm sorry about that, but there's just no way. Um, and so this is really a, like a hodgepodge. It's white and some of the browns um, and kind of golden books. But of course some black ones snuck in there too because there are just too many. And the final shelf, which is mostly browns and sort of burnt colors and some grays and silvers. So there you have it. That's four giant bookshelves. I do have more books in my closet as well, but most of them are textbooks or um, books that are just really huge, like some Stephen King books that just don't fit on my shelves. And I also have a box of books to give away, um, at least a hundred, but I'm not going to pull those out. So, pretty much there are books everywhere. I have another tote full of books in the basement as well that are books from when I was a kid, lots of goosebumps and stuff like that. Yeah, books everywhere. But wait, that's not all. Here we have my Jane Austen shelf. So here's a closer look, all of my Jane Austen books. Um... These aren't organized to color, just however they fit. Now there are some on here that are signed, um, but I put them with the Jane Austen books rather than on the signed shelf. There's a couple Jane Austen movies. I do have more than those two, but most of them are digital copies. That's all my Jane Austen goodies. I also have a Jane Austen action figure. I'll show you that in a minute. And here is my signed bookshelf. Now this one, you can see, is double stacked. Um, all kinds of books behind. 
This one I'll definitely have to go through at some point. I don't know if you guys are going to want me to go through each shelf and show you what's on each shelf, but this one I'll definitely have to, just because, I mean, I can't show you everything just panning over like this. And of course, as you see behind me in every video, I've always got books stacked on top. By and large, they are review books that are waiting to be reviewed or waiting to be shown in a haul video or my monthly rewind. So it changes up um, pretty much every month as they get read and put away as I try to find a, a spot for them on the shelves. It doesn't always happen. And so that is my small bookshelf. Um, it's just a little three-shelfer. The bottom shelf that I didn't show you is just scrapbooking stuff that I couldn't fit anywhere else. One of these days I think it'll go away and probably the Jane Austen stuff will move up to the top shelf and the two signed books will take up the two bottom shelves, but right now I've got nowhere else for it to go. I don't know if you can normally see this behind me in my videos, but I do have a Jane Austen action figure. She's in the boxes behind me on the wall. I've got two rats. That's my Russian blue and that's my seal point. They are felt. My friend Sam made them for me. Just like the doozer in the book rat. And there you have it. That's my stuff. Alright, so those are my bookshelves. Um, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Uh, a lot of people think I'm crazy for organizing by color, especially as many books as I have. The question I get most often is how do you find anything? Um, but part of the reason I started organizing by color was because I tend to think of the books and how they look, and I would find myself searching for the color of the spine anyway. Um, and if they were going to look messy, they might as well look messy to a purpose. So it works for me most of the time. Occasionally I do forget what a book looks like and end up searching and searching and searching for it. But organizing by genre or organizing alphabetically just really wouldn't work for me. Um, I move things and shuffle things and get too many books for that to really be effective. So let me know what you think. Um, if you organize your books by color, let me know. Tweet me a picture or something. I love seeing other people's bookshelves. Now, as for where do we go from here, let me know um, how you guys want the sort of tour to proceed. Was this enough? Was it enough just to see them? Or do you want me to keep going? And if you want me to keep going, do you want me to go by color and show you all of the red books and all of the blue books, um, which could be kind of long? Do you want me to go by bookcase and just do a really quick overview? Or do you want me to go shelf by shelf and really go into a little bit more detail and show you what's in each shelf? Um, let me know. Tell me in the comments. And... Until next time, these were my shelves. Happy reading!